Hello guys. Oh, we're wobbling a bit. I am so excited. I think I just locked my car. I am... Why is this wobbling so much? I, I stopped doing workouts on my TikTok and my Instagram. If you're not following, go check it out. Because I felt I couldn't... I don't know, explain enough. And I'm just like, oh my God, YouTube is the space for that. So we're gonna do a glute and ham session. So it'll be like my first ever walk through with that. But I have taken myself, I've scouted out a new gym that looks fantastic. I have never been there. And I'm gonna walk you through the workout, but also my like thought process of tackling a new gym, what I do. I've never really shared this because it's too hard to put into a, like a condensed one minute 30 video so this is perfect I feel so amped up because I've been listening to the gym girls locker room playlist it's the funniest sickest playlist I asked like our community to put together a playlist for gym like workouts and to like hit those PRs and you guys delivered for sure so I've been listening to that I'm nervous I feel a little bit nervous I bought my day pass I've got all my stuff I'm gonna mic up before I go in and then yeah we'll we'll get on with it we'll see what happens but I will see you in there make sure to give this a like and thumbs up if you enjoy it comment down below what gym anxieties you're getting over this year in 2023 and yeah let's go oh my gosh I'm nervous first step is getting in and hey this might even be a new gym I go to I'm kind of feeling like going to a few gyms you know may as well oh my god <laughs> no, right first port of call find toilets let me just talk to someone where are the toilets sorry where are the toilets uh, go up the stairs yeah and then round the back in the corner you see but thank you just heard to some girl she said to go upstairs to the toilets. Go to the toilets, just like readjust. By this point, you've like walked through the whole gym and you've like scouted the area out. We are here. Oh my god, I can literally feel like I'm so nervous, like in a new gym. Let me just get out. <laughs> okay, I like to bring my bag with me. I know some gyms don't allow you to, but I like to because it's like a comfort blanket. What we're gonna do, pee, then I'm gonna go out onto the gym floor and I'm going to find a little space near the first exercise. No, 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 I'm then gonna get my water and I'm gonna find a space near the first place I'm going to for my first exercise and I'm gonna warm up. Port of call. Filling up water. So I don't put my headphones in because I just like to talk to anyone. But if you are feeling super overwhelmed, Get those headphones in, play your favourite tunes, and just zone out. Is that too much? No, that's fine. I'm gonna start with the compounds first, so I'm gonna go to find somewhere to hip thrust. I don't know where the hell I'm gonna find that. Um, we'll just find a little corner to go to. Where, where do people, where do people usually set up for hip thrusts? Anywhere? People normally grab one of the boxes one of them. wherever there's like, okay. wherever there's space. Yeah. Okay, cool. cool. Alright guys, I think we're going to float. Let me go and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll do it there. Really? That's not right. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna get my bar. What's my name? What's the difference? Okay. Let's go. Get the pre-workout in. Get the creatine in. Grab the fantasy soda today. Oh my god, I hope you guys can hear me. It's so loud in here. And I don't know a single person here, so... This is really fun! I'm so conscious of warming up since I had my back injury. So, I like to just 
Well, I like to do mobility stuff, but I also like to warm up my glutes on the roller. I'm gonna roll on my glutes and I'm gonna roll on my hamstrings just until they feel warmed up. Is that in your way? Is it in your way? <laughs> okay, so I am gonna talk in the mic for a bit because my silly little bottom uh, completely forgot that I was pointing my mic the wrong way around <laughs> and so it's so noisy because it's just picking up all the like noise from everywhere else but my own voice so uh what you just saw was me doing mobility exercises these are so so good for improving your form I just do it until I'm warmed up so usually that's like mm, 12 to 20 depending how I'm feeling uh, repetitions and then I always go in with my compounds with the bar so that's what you saw earlier and then the way I love to do all of my compounds really if I'm thinking about it I do it with all of them is this like pyramid set where you start with a lower weight you do higher reps and then you build your way up so yeah I think that's what I've been doing especially as this is like my first exercise so my muscles are kind of like needing to be like properly warmed up before even thinking about going heavy like we want to make sure this is injury free so yeah because I'm still warming up I think I'm gonna go for like 10 reps okay hmm. look at my harder than I thought I don't really hit press so much now but we're still gonna go up we're still gonna go up out and now really hoping this doesn't slip back okay monkey 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 no that was actually right okay I'm not sure why this is feeling heavy I'm kind of seeing stars and we're only at 110. I feel like I actually dread doing hip thrusts most of the time just because I cannot be bothered to ever remove the plates. They take so long. I know you guys will understand the struggle. Um, so yeah, if you don't bump the plates onto the smaller plate, what are you doing? It makes life so much easier. I just want to also clarify, I know that those knees are on a 90 degree angle. I don't know what happened, but I know you guys will do a better job. So I felt like I needed to clarify those legs were, let's say, misbehaving. And we shall not be doing that again. I can assure you of that. Okay. We are going to do step ups. You can take yourself off to any part of the gym. What we're going to do is move this barbell out of the way. We do not want any accidents. Yeah. Okay. By this point, you're pretty warmed up. Well, I am at least. What you're gonna do is a step up. Now, it's very easy to go like spring up like that, but you want all of the movement to come from that front leg. Just really take your time on it. Right, we're gonna switch sides. One. Two. <sighs> Okay. Knackered, we're like, okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a two minute rest. Recover. Find some water. All right, let me find one. Where's the, where's, is there a water fountain downstairs? Sorry? Is there a water fountain downstairs? Oh, it's the, you have it to... No, is it just the one upstairs? No, no, you know, there's one there, look. Oh yes, amazing, thank you so much. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I've got a view. Oh god, I am knackered. I swear, like, in this boat, pull-ups are harder. I feel like I'm getting out of breath quicker. And I'm just, like, sweating a lot more. So that's fun. Put that foot on. I'm leaning forward into it. I could bounce up like that. But instead, I'm just going to really drive down on that front leg. So dropping down and controlling the motion down. Up. Down. You'll really feel those glutes. With all of your body parts that you're working out, 
the working out. You're incorporating exercises that work out one leg at a time, one arm at a time, one side of your back at a time because this is going to really work on those muscle imbalances and just like even everything out. We're going to go and do RDLs. Yes, you could do dumbbell ones. Yes, I could stay here in the quiet part of the gym. However, this is about conquering gym fears. So we're going to head into the lion's den and go in the, weight se the dreaded weight, weight section. I'll leave that box there because that's where it was. Okay, we are heading over there. Do you mind if I just go on the platform? Amazing. I'm gonna go and grab a burger. I'm really trying to work my hamstrings. They're like, there's not really much to, I don't know, they're just, they're taking a, they're taking a hot minute to brew up. I'm gonna add tens, I think. For some movements, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm really warmed up. It's not necessary for me to start really low. I don't know, with RDLs, I feel like, because they're quite techy, I want to do that. Really hot and sweaty today. Okay, so, feet hit distance apart. I'm going to grab the bar. However you prefer, I, like, I just always like doing mixed grip. I'm going to pick up like a deadlift and I'm going to lower down and push my hips back. Keep those legs straight, head tucked, lower, 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 lower till I feel it. Pull up with my hamstrings. Keep the bar as close to your legs as you can. Oh my god, why am I quads looking so big? Do you see it? Hand strings. Yeah, it's a comfort. It's fine. We're working on it. I'm going to move you here so that you can see my hips because that is the key. Hopefully you can see it even though I've got my thing tied around me but I'm really just not trying to give anyone an eyeful. I feel like that's the last thing they want when they come to gym. So, okay. I'm not going up in weights. If on some days you literally just feel like you can't go up in weight, that's fine. Just listen to your body, you know? I don't know, for whatever reason, I'm just feeling weaker. So I would normally do that whole pyramid thing I was talking about, go up in weight, do less reps, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do that today. So we're just gonna see how it goes. So feet hip distance apart. I'm going to grab the bar in a deadlift. I'm going to push those hips back, tuck my head back, 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 lower, and then pull up with my hamstrings. And again, lower, 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 pull up. I'm not going to lie, I feel like I could go up now. So next set, I'm going to go up to 15. I'm gonna just sit down for a second. Ugh. Right. Mm. Okay, I've fully just started zoning out then. One more. Ugh, the legs shakes. Okay. Ooh. I was really sitting here and thinking. I'm thinking with myself like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna keep it at 15, I'm not add any more weights on, but like, <sighs> come on, I needed two, right? So it's like, if your aim is like 10 reps and you did 10 reps of light work and you could do like many, many more reps, then I would consider going up so that those last few reps are a struggle, which is why I went up, so. I managed nine, so that's kind of where I wanted to be. Whoa, no fell off. Okay, I'm gonna put these weights back. We are going to do leg curl. I need to work out where the hell that 
machine is. Instead of looking really like silly or feeling like you're looking silly and being like, oh, I don't know where any of the machines are. Literally easiest thing is to just walk up and ask someone. So I shall be doing that in two minutes, two minutes. I'm just gonna put away all my weights. Oh my God. This is like the worst part of the workout, I swear to God. Do you know where the lick curl machine is? Sorry? Do you know where the lick curl machine is? Lick curl? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you can pull one just over there. And they, oh, that little cluster there? Uh, you know when you've like not been to the gym, you're like, where is everything? Thank you. Happens. It happens, it happens. Wow. Which thing is? Back up. Of course. No, this is, I, I train all the time. This just is, I thought I'd try a new one. Yeah. I wanted to go for one, um, I wanted to go for one like, I always think like the warehouse, warehouse style ones are nicer. Okay. You know what I mean? Like big high ceilings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I train at, um, okay. it's very crowded. <laughs> so I just thought, yeah, it is. It's very, very packed. And that's how it's done, lads. I'm gonna grab my stuff. What's your name? Sydney. Sydney? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Yeah, I'm Sydney. Nice to meet you. Let's crush it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no excuses. I'll see you in a sec. Is that in sight? Can you see? Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna start with 10 reps, do a set, see how it feels, and then I will go up. I want this back pad to be a little bit higher up. I have quite short legs, so I'm just gonna adjust it so it's kind of on my calves. Whenever I used to use this, I always used to get cramp. If you flex your leg, you don't get the cramp. Like this. Like so. So I'm just gonna do 10 to 12 of those, see how it feels on the weight I've got, and then I can adjust accordingly. Do you know what? I'm feeling bold. I'm gonna go up. All right, we're gonna go in again. I'm gonna aim for 10, see how this goes. And I wanna really control that like descent. I'm really trying to work on that with all of my movements. It's so easy to just like let it, let the weight drop, but we don't wanna do that. So let's go. One, two. Yeah. Okay, definitely the right. Oh my god, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> this weight is definitely a challenge, but I'm sure I can do it. I'm gonna try and go for 10 again. Okay, ready. Okay, well I did it, at least. Very concerned that the battery is gonna die. So we might have to switch to cam uh, phone, but we shall see. I'm honestly not even sure if you're gonna be able to hear me at this point, but actually let me know. Let me not put that there. Camera died, knew that was gonna happen. Never ever learn. We have one more exercise to do, and trying to find. So this is glute kickbacks. I feel like a lot of people kind of. I don't know if I'd say like have demonised it. I really don't know if you can hear me at all right now. I don't know if people have demonised it. I don't know if I'd go that far, but there's so much benefit in doing those accessory movements that aren't necessarily like your compounds, aren't straight legs and um, they'll really help like round your glutes or just like make everything look a lot more aesthetic so I'm definitely going to have to move the camera okay let me just move it and you really don't need to just move on this you want to again just focus on the movement
Kuga was gonna die. I knew it. Yeah, I still don't learn and order another one as a backup. Um, I shall be doing that. I promise you, we will not have a repeat. Verdict is that was very fun. In fact, I actually really enjoyed being just in a completely different gym. Like, there's just different things about it. Like, the environment feels different. The way that they like oh my god me talking about the furnishings but like the way you know it makes a difference um people were really friendly i think people are a bit like what is this girl doing talking to herself as everybody is all the time uh i don't blame them i look like a bit of a nutter but yeah made a couple of friends i think like hopefully i was able to get across this thing of like if you want to make friends no one's going to come up to you you need to be the one to do it and like people want to they are just too shy to do it themselves so um yeah feeling really positive to the point where like kind of want to get a gym membership there as well the most embarrassing part of the whole session was that i needed to take some photos for a brand and i was kind of just like wandering around <laughs> like uh does anyone like know where is it? do you guys have a studio that was embarrassing because they have like a mezzanine floor so like they have a floor that overlooks me just like running around just, like trying to take photos but like again i've just like you know me personally what i tell myself to get out of my head is like sid it's your job but i would do the same like if i was you guys like who cares literally who cares you're gonna get a sick ass photo because you've just worked your butt off taking uh like you know putting in the work why wouldn't you take a photo most of the time people are looking because they are jealous and they wish that they had the confidence to do that confidence is just magnetic and it's something that like a lot of people wish they had and something that like just it truly radiates out of you so again i've said it before i'll say it again fake it until you make it but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed watching that i'm I'm feeling so amped about doing workout videos for YouTube. I think that's like the missing piece we've been we've been looking for. So I will have many, many, many. Like honestly, the possibilities are endless. Like I could do videos on like how to set up a barbell properly, how to like set up all the compounds. Like I literally am at your disposal. So comment down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have got this far be sure to like and subscribe it helps me so much in i know every every single youtube channel says this but it's true it helps me to get my channel out so that like we can continue to grow and that i can like hopefully make this like more of a thing but yeah i'm gonna stop rambling god i've been talking for three minutes <laughs> but yeah love you guys so much onwards and upwards and hopefully if there's anything that you can take from this then my work here is complete and love you all lots bye bye